Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I want to do something with my Japanese resources that I have already bought but uh, used only a couple of times and then kind of forgot that I have. And I'm talking about this like uh, kanji notebooks that I bought a couple of years ago and then used it just a couple of times. And right now I'm going to the Remembering the Kanji uh, book by Heisek and um, I'm just writing out the kanjis and trying to learn them with the stories that are provided. Uh, however, I thought it would be nice to write over the kanjis in this notebook too and just practice writing in Japanese. So uh, this notebook has already been used. Um, I used it first for learning katakana. I wrote down <laughs> all of the katakana characters and then I started doing some kanjis in here as well. But then I stopped using it and I started using other notebooks and I kind of forgot that I had this one. And I made one YouTube video where I wrote down these kanjis with ink. And um, yeah, that's it. That's all that I did in this notebook. So I want to finish this notebook and um, I'm just going to fill it in with all the kanjis from Remember in the Kanji. And uh, yeah, you can write along with me or um, use this video for your own studying, progress and motivation. And um, yeah, I will see how long it will take me to fill out the whole book. So this will be part one of the of this series. And again, I'm going to use um, ink, same color as last, last time. So my idea was to uh, use for every kanji three uh, of these like square spaces. I will write down the kanji once here and then I will leave two spaces blank. And then I will write out the other kanji and I will also, I think, write down the meaning of the kanji or like the keyword that they use in remembering the kanji. And then when I want to review this kanji, I will come back and fill out the other two um, squares. Uh, I will kind of make my own workbook. This is not the way how I'm learning kanji in general. I'm also using Ronnie Kani and just uh, like looking up kanjis and... Uh, re doing a lot of reading in Japanese. So this is just to learn how to write because I think that's also very important. However, to actually remember kanji and recognize them, I think there are other methods like um, reading the stories from remembering the kanji or uh, using Wani Kani. So yeah, this is just writing practice. Let's get started. <laughs> I started out like this but I don't really like how this looks so I will just start over I think 
I'm going to write down it the same way as here. So this way, and then I will put down the names on the upper, upper side. So yeah, I think that would look better than this. And let's put a date in here as well. Today it's the 14th of October. 2023 small change but yeah I think this is better and I will use the, all the pages for like some uh, notes <laughs>
So the first page is done. If I would like to review it, I can just fill in the second rows. I did make some mistakes here and there, like this one was a little bit difficult to write again. And here I just wrote it a little bit too long, the, the word, and I didn't like this one. So I think with these crunchies, I already wrote them down multiple times. Um, it's okay if I review them now. And then you can see how to look when the crunchies are reviewed. So the idea here is that I will just go in and fill out the second row. Yeah, the second time writing these crunchies were a lot easier so i think the second attempt looks a little bit better except for this one i made a mistake here so this is what i'm going to do for the rest of the notebook and just slowly going through to remember the crunchy
Maybe you've already noticed, but remember in the kanji works with radicals, so you learn a radical uh, and a kanji can be both a radical and a kanji at the same time, but we thought that we learn the radicals and then you make or you build more kanjis. So for example, we have here the radical and a kanji child and there are different kanjis that are related to this radical or for example street and then town uh, can place on the head it's all kanjis that you can build with the radical street yeah that's how the book works and they introduce every kanji after they have introduced a radical so if you look back at the kanji that I wrote I think this is like three years ago I don't know if my handwriting improved I think I think it's kind of the same I do try to make the kanjis a little bit smaller so they definitely fit like in this square and here you see um, that sometimes I went over the square a couple of times here as well so I do try to fit them more in the squares but <laughs> this one is like really over uh, I always had like a difficulty to write down a kanji uh, small when I'm not familiar how to write it so every time I write like a new kanji I always make it way too big oh and for writing down these kanjis I use another book uh, which introduced like the basic kanjis uh, but yeah let's do another page
This was everything for the first part of this video series. I filled out three pages, so I think that's uh, enough for now. Obviously, I made some mistakes here and there, so that's why I filled out two squares because I wanted to improve it a little bit. And uh, here the same, I made a mistake here. Yeah, I like doing this. I just like writing out the kanji and try to practice my handwriting. And if you are using this book or another way of learning kanjis, I will always like recommend to write them out. I will do that in the book as well. And then here I am also practicing. So it's not only to remember the kanji, it's also to remember how the stroke order works and um, just improving the handwriting itself. This is a little bit faster than actually learning the text, of course, but next time we will continue from here on. So thank you for watching and until next time, goodbye!